Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Wildermyth. Last time we left off, we had an incursion to deal with. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and defend here. So, yeah, let's defend. We can use all of my characters, which will give me a lot of XP on everyone, which will be fun, so. Morthogi have come. How will the defenders respond? I mean, this one's just so good. As long as you get it, yeah. Extra damage is just, you can really just annihilate them right at the beginning. Not excited about the groundskeeper. Patient legs trundle its towering chambers around. Acrid vapors clouds that turn eyes to swamps, minds to haze. Do not like that. There it is, acid jet. Six range, three to five damage. She's a jet of acid hitting targets in a line, eating through scenery and flesh alike, and leaving behind acid. Walking onto acid shreds one armor and deals one magic damage, two pierce. Ooh, okay, that is not fun. Uh, yeah, and then we have the coachman down there, so there's a lot of really tanky enemies here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, let's get you right here. I kind of just want a better view of the enemies. These th these can't be the only three out here right now. That's my main thing. Um, run more. Let's see. This thing can't be pinned. Yeah. Can this thing be pinned? This can be pinned. The coachman can't though. The coachman's probably going to do the charge. It has to charge towards an enemy though. It could move and then charge at one of us, however. I think what the best thing to do right now would be, would be to just focus on these two, and then let this one come to us. I believe. Okay, do we have... Uh, you're here, so you're not going to be able to open the door. That's what I was kind of hoping I could have you do. Hmm. All right, let's uh, move you here. Open the door. Okay, and then we figure out what we are doing about this groundskeeper. So it doesn't have that much HP. Twenty one. Doesn't have a lot of defense either. And this volley of arrows will do six to eight damage, which is good. The only problem is I can't get anyone really in there. That's kind of the main issue at the moment. There's just not a lot of people to help out too much here. Fidbora can hit you with a fire. I suppose. So... Interfuse. Into the lantern. And then... And steal fire on you. I could have also spirit chased, but this will still do blocked. Damn you. That's annoying. Um, I don't suppose the steel fire will still get to you. I think it will actually. I think I can still hit you with that. All you're going to be able to do is interfuse though. Um, Evaner, you can't really get in there. It's just too far for you to go. And unfortunately, you don't have the... Oh, uh, we do have Guardian. Or, or Vigilance, rather. Oh, wait, no, 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 not that's not Paladin. Paladin's what I need. Damn it. Andra, how about you? How are you doing? We could set up some Jump Jaws. With you, I'm hoping there's like no more enemies around. There's probably more enemies over here, but I really just want to kill this groundskeeper before it truly has an opportunity to do anything to me. So I'm gonna hit it with this. Fire at will! Oh my god. It did say it could do upwards of that much damage, but holy shit, I really didn't expect it to actually do that much. Holy. Okay, and then we take that out. God. 
Tier 3 is, uh, very strong. Okay. Well, we're definitely good now. Um... Still need to kind of move everyone into better positions over here. Because... I really, really don't want to get bopped by that thing. Uh... You can stay right there. You get in here. Yeah, let's all just get away from the coachman. I don't want to deal with that. Um, could you skunk spray? Far enough? No, unfortunately not. You could... Splinter blast it, though. And I will probably have you do so. So, let's just... Move back here. And then hit you with a splinter blast, just to get rid of that armor. Okay. And... We still have Kati. Not really much for you to do. Ardana? You could kill... You could kill that. The wardrobe. And that's probably a good call. We'll also get hidden from this, so... Good! Yeah, yeah, yeah? What are you doing? Okay, there's the sommelier. They have some acid and stuff to go through, so that's where a lot of the other enemies are. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, that's doable. That's doable, I would say. Um, Oral? Get in here. More enemies are gonna be coming from this way. What's the range on Peck? Is melee range. So I can't stand a diagonal from it, so let's go here. I will peck you. Peck. And then stab. That is a good ability. Uh, Since there are some enemies spawning over there, I wouldn't mind having curry here. Greater Constrict. You do have the Myth Weaver. Yeah, let's have Curry take care of it. I think you interfuse into this, six range. Yeah, you should be able to reach it. Yeah. Got it. Good stuff. So, with that... Andra... What I would really love for you to do is put some jump jaws over there. I don't think you're gonna be able to, though. No, you super can! Okay, awesome. Can you shoot as well? 15% chance, but you can. Uh... Evaner, would you do enough damage to kill? You also have the throw axes that we could use. Two. You could also just probably kill the Weldling. Seven HP, two armor. You do 11 damage. So... I actually think we could just kill the Weldling. Yeah. Is that taken care of? You could go wall up with Evaner. Uh, you could go wall up with that character. They're gonna walk out and pretty much get messed up by that, so... Yeah, not a whole lot for the rest of us to do. I'm gonna get Rum more like right over here. Just in a better position to kind of support both sides. Ah, if only I could reach that all the way over there. Ooh, if I go in there. Ooh, I, I can I can even go right here. Okay. Interfuse into this. If only I could interfuse into two things this turn, but unfortunately I can't, so this is the best I can do. But that's gonna be enough to kill both of them if they move up, so... Oh, wait. Hello. I can't actually get into this. From here. Which means I can kill both of them. There we go. Yup. Everything's going swimmingly. And we wait. Yeah, I mean, that super, super strong volley of arrows is just, just craziness. 
Uh, Fidbora. You can walk up here. No enemies spawned, huh? Okay, they must have come from here or here. Kind of shocked, actually. Kind of a little bit shocked. Centrifuge into this just in case. Yeah. And everything's fine there. Evaner, you can go chill right there. Oral. Let's see, there's nobody there. Is it just the Watchman? I don't know where all those other enemies spawned in. It had to be over here. Hmm. You could just walk in and kill this thing, like, immediately. And there doesn't appear to be any other enemies to stop you. Never mind, there's a Weldling. Okay. But... How much would a volley of arrows do? To hit both of them? No. Okay. Just do a peck. And then a attack. Oh, it did live. Just barely. Uh... Curry can come help. Strict hobble and crush a foe. Hmm. I think I'll grab the basket and we will hit 64% chance to hit you, 100% chance to kill you. Let's do that. Uh, now could have. Andra or something get over here and possibly help you out. Don't think we can reach. Can almost just kill the Weldling with this. Uh, just in case it tries to move up on you, I guess. And we'll have a shot prepared. You two are kind of in an awkward spot. Let's get at least one of you back over here. And Kati. Yeah, wait. There's just there's not a lot we have to do here. If I'm going to be honest. Let's just wait. We're going to take a little bit of damage on some characters, but I'm mostly just waiting for more enemies to come in. We lost our courage. Okay, you did dodge it. Annoying. Yeah, two armor shredded, that's fine. Okay. What all is over here? A watchman spawns. Okay, so that's everything that's spawning up there. That's all the stuff down here. Nothing else actually came in over here. So. Alrighty. Uh, Oral. You can move... Only I can have this hit both of you. Let's use it to kill the Watchman, though. The Watchman has the most HP. So now you move in. And a peck won't be enough to kill. So we'll need a little bit of help, it seems. God, he keeps surviving with like one HP. That was even with the, uh, even with the other hit. Splinter Blast won't hit both of them. Alright, just Greater Constrict it then. I want it dead. And we can have, like, Ardana come over here and just finish this dork off. Hello. So, let's see. Let's put some Jump Jaws on you. And shoot you. Oh, I got my refund. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. So, that is done. Now we just gotta take out these. Ebener will not be able to get over there fast enough. But you can start the journey, I suppose. Curry. Let's see, you could interfuse with the green bucket. And Splinter Blast. That one at the very least. 
that means you could come up and kill. There we are. Alright, pretty easy fight. Nothing, uh, nothing too wild here. Uh, I won't be able to hit you with that. Let's see, who else do we have? We have Ardana. Ardana can just kill the thing. There we go. Oh, still some left, huh? Okay. Don't particularly know where they're coming from. This is about the only area I could think of. We're here? I suppose there could be one more hiding back there, I guess. Let's just wait and see what they do. Ah, okay, yeah, there's another one of you from over there. Two more of you, apparently. Okay. Uh... How far do I have to move to get into that? Pretty far. Let's see. You go in here. Bonk. And let's get Kati in here as well. Guess there's not really much you can do though. That keeps being the problem. Let's see. Rumwar could kill that. I just need you to kill this, basically. Which you should be able to, as long as you hit. Okay. Cool. And now, Rumwar, you can actually poke the thing? And kill it? Or I could spray it. It's going to spray. Yeah, not well. Bonk. There you go. Now we're done. And let's see how much XP we get on everybody. Five for for everyone. A lot of XP to be throwing around. There we go. That's what I needed. Evener on Evener Paladin. Once per combat as a swift action, Evener grants three armor and two warding to himself or a nearby ally for two turns. Evener's melee attack still plus one damage. Reaction strikes per turn increase from two to four. I need Paladin. It's too good to pass up on. 30% extra health on the coachman? Oh my god, the thing already has like 25 HP. That's a terrible one to get. That one's pretty awful, I would say. Okay, let's assault this. Do I want to send in? Uh, I mean, I'm fine with this. Oral is pretty good. Yeah, you can go take care of that. We can send the other three over here. And sure, find an item. I could have left them there to scout, basically, but... Ah, Middle Lizard Chasm. Runes of dust and dirt. And now, Morthagi. As is her way, Andra walks a bit back from the group. Which is why she's the first to notice. We're being followed. Quietly, she falls even further back and circles around. There's a good spot to ambush whoever's on our tail. A human. Stop right there. Ah! You okay back there, Andra? Fine, but this little stalker here better start talking. Well? Oh, oh, you, you're her! Best day ever, meeting the one, the only Andra of the Crusaders of the Famous Scarab! And you're oral! The stories don't do you justice! You... know us? Yes, of course I know you! I'm Million. I'm your biggest fan! You've got to be... wait, biggest? I mean there are more of you? Never mind that. How do we know you're not a spy? Spy? Oh no! I'm afraid you have it all wrong! I'm not here to spy on you! I'm here to join you! It's my life's ambition uh, to be a member of the Crusaders of this famous Scarab. I heard stories of you sung in taverns, of your deeds and your accomplishments. I knew I had to join you. I practiced my weapon every day. My weapons every day. I even defended my village a few times. I heard tell that you were nearby the other day. I set out immediately to find you. And so I have. Please let me join you. I've been training tirelessly for this. I'll be an asset to you, I promise. We're already a large enough crew. Cost 2 LP and I just get another character? I mean, we are a very large crew, but we also have... Two characters retiring this chapter. So, the only unfortunate thing is it looks like you're a mage. Which I kind of don't need. 
but I feel like more characters is just always good. More than happy to have you along, Millie, the more the merrier. Really? Woohoo! First lesson, no whooping right before a fight. Right, right, of course. Wait, fight? We're fighting? Legacy points minus two. Well, I got a, I got a new character, Greenhorn Mystic. So yeah, unfortunately we have four Mystics. But, hey, I would have preferred to be able to train you in something else. Uh, you are very young though, right? 21, yeah. Okay. Vine Wrench, Grey Plain, Millie bonds with the earth and summons from Seedling and Silt, a wondrous tree that pins surrounding enemies. I do you wonder what the range on this is? Because this could be very nice. Fire does not burn while it's refused. Splinter Salvo, Infernal Rain. I'm gonna get Arches. I just want to try it because we've never really used it before. Alright, Arches. What's the range on it? God, look at how much HP it has. <laughs> look at how much HP it has! Ah, that's too much HP! My god. Ugh. Okay. Discus, Shackle, Wild Grasp. Okay. Uh, 33. My god, that's too much. Okay, get in there, Oral. Peck the shit out of the thing. Can we actually get rid of its armor some way first? Curry. Let's see. We don't have any of the shredding things, unfortunately. No wood. Yeah, we just have like wild grasp and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we mostly just try and do as much damage as we can. Hmm. Fibora. You could quick action get rid of the things. Stuff. Not that we need to right now, though. Sidious Filament is fun. Poisons them. Poison might be a play here. Okay, and then let's... Shackle both of you. There we are. The thing is still active, too, which means that they will get poisoned. Yeah, even more. So, what do I want to do here? <laughs> um, I mean, Ardana getting in there to hit with the axe is obviously kind of a kind of a must if we actually want to kill this thing. But the question is, will we even have enough damage to kill it? Because I guess Oral hasn't went yet, so we, we might. The butler is pinned, so we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to put some of these down on it. I'll walk up to it, and I'm going to smack it. it. Gets rid of your armor. Oral, now you peck. And strike. We might have it. We might just have it. You attack. That's two poison on top. Yeah, we should. We should be able to kill it. It's an absolute raid boss, but we're going to be able to kill it. Especially if that happens. Okay. Uh, you, you, you want you want to kill Millie since it's your uh, since it's your first fight and all. Enjoy. Okay, not too terrible, I would say. Curry, you can fire lash the butler. Good. Tin the coals. Burned out, sweep the floor. Annoying. Uh, shackles. So this zone. What exactly does it do again? Let's see, I can pin you. So just 
go ahead and take care of that. Uh, you could shoot... Get some poison down. I heard the wind going. I thought that was, like, outside my house. I was like, geez, the wind's really, really going. I don't want to move into this stuff, kind of. Sweep the floor, bone stitched in the coals. Once per turn is a free action, create a damaging region around itself that it increases in range for each fire consumed. Yeah, so that's what it is. If we walk into it, I'll get hurt. Um, let's put these down right here. Let's move right here. Swap. Shoot. I think we might be able to do it here. Evaner's the one, yeah, that has the, the throwing axis. Uh, could Wild Grasp you. Ardana does still have a shot, and it will do poison. There we go. Okay, it's dead. It dies next turn. So... Wait. And... Guardian. And... Interfused into the ruin table and destroy the Batchby's armor. Yeah, I just feel very, very strong at this point. <laughs> now that we've kind of learned a little bit more, we're we're quite powerful. Of course, that'll change once I'm back to like you know into in a new campaign and have baby characters. But it seems like that is definitely when you're when you're gonna be weakest in this game. It's one of those. Yo. Uh, Ardana. I don't think either of these things can reach you. That's still pinned. The Spectre can't reach you. So, get right here. Uh, the Quelling Moss won't reach enough to do anything, but I can just shoot you. You can do the same thing. Okay, the Batch Bee's dead. <laughs> The Spectre gets on its way to being dead. Let's see, Fungus? Rubble? I moved there, I can reach that, but... What can I do with the Rubble? Ah, I can hit the Spectre. Good. There we are. Bye-bye. And we'll just move you up. Cool. Good squad. It does help that we had six characters, too. That definitely helps a lot. Uh, Fire Lash. Bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs> My god. They got destroyed. What else is even hiding back here at this point? Ah, there's a wardrobe. Okay. That is very annoying. But we can get these two in here. And it should help out quite a bit. You can wait. Obviously don't want you walking through the fire, but... Get into some better positions here. Okay. Yeah, and it's just, it's just the wardrobe. Okay. Get in there, Ardana. Shoot it. Dead. Is that it? Yep. That is it. And Oral gets a level up this time. Good, good. Bronzehorn Warrior. So... Iron Senses allow him to form two reaction strikes per turn. Once per combat, Oral gains one action point, and attack actions only cost one action point this turn. That is pretty cool. After hitting with a non-swift melee attack, Oral still, if Oral still has actions left, he can move up to half his speed as a free action. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then you can engage people. Once for combat, Oral gains one action point and attacks only cost one action point this turn. I mean, you already have an ability, to be fair, that makes it so... I'm pretty sure that's you that has that ability and not... Yeah, you already have Battle, Ta battle Dance, so your, your melee attacks already only cost one action. 
Hmm. Did I... You don't have Paladin. Which is unfortunate. What does Crowhead give you? Just, just that? Meryl still has actions left. He can move up to half his speed as a free action. That's pretty cool, just being able to reposition after you do a melee attack like that. Could have you, help you kind of run through and kill everything. I think it's better than a lot of these other ones, so let me go for that. Summerclaw of Waradim. Powerful sword, plus five block, or plus five accuracy, plus ten block. So if I replace the spear, we would have less range. More damage accuracy. Let's see. Evaner has the dueling sword and that. We have that. We would lose the flanking damage though, which is kind of the whole point. So I think just giving you a better option could be nice. More accuracy, more block. Sure, take it. Talisman of Courage. More block. I'm gonna put that on Oral as well. Because uh, Oral might lose his shield at some point. Which doesn't help with block, but it does just try to reduce your damage. I figured out what it's like. Well, what's like? Killing more Thoggy. Unpleasant, messy, but weirdly satisfying. It's exactly like popping a zit. And we're popping the zits of the very land itself, the biggest zits of them all. Yeah, me too, Oral. <laughs> he just walks away. Come on, it's a metaphor. You like metaphors? I thought you'd be proud. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe we were gonna drive our drive our team crazy by allowing you into the squad here. Okay, so uh, and of course this incursion is still making its way over here. That was just taking out that thing, so that'll be a whole thing. But we'll be able to defend against that in just a moment. It's not gonna be too rough. Yeah, the Morthagi incursion will be here, and then yeah, we, we can just move back over there to deal with that, but we need to go ahead and end this episode off, so hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.